Good afternoon, everyone. It is another surprisingly warm March day. Despite how unsuccessful yesterday was, I'm going to try to flip again today. And then if the flipping is any good, I'm gonna go road cruise and hope that there will be some activity around dust. Anyways, this is the first set. This is gonna be super hot. Probably not gonna have anything. But uh, we'll check it anyway, since we're here. You never know. So that 10 was really hot. I decided I'm gonna cruise around for a little bit. It's a little bit early in the year to really expect to see anything out, even during the daytime crossing the road. Um, but with how warm it is, it's 82 degrees right now and sunny. There's not much else I could be doing. I mean, honestly, that's too hot for stuff to be basking uh, for the most part. And uh, without cloud cover, it's definitely too hot to be flipping 10. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive around for a little bit in an area that has a lot of snakes generally and just see if I can see something crossing the road. Um, and then a little bit later in the afternoon, I'll stop and flip some more stuff once it's cooled off a bit. So I'm walking up to my 10 spot and I see this guy just chilling. What's up, buddy? What you doing in the trail? Look at that leech, goodness gracious. Holy crap, dude. How long you been carrying that thing around? What on earth? Look at that. That is nuts. Turtle leech. Anyways, nice uh, yellow-bellied slider with a uh, quite the leech attached to his shell. I'm not gonna pull that off because I mean they're turtle. I think I do believe these are called turtle leeches, and part of their whole. Uh, thing is they live off of turtles so kind of conflicting because I don't want this guy to suffer but I can't imagine that that leech is causing him too much trouble um, but either way nice looking yellow bellied slider here in the trail anyways I'm just gonna put him back don't know where he's heading so uh, this road is closed no one will be driving down it so we don't have to worry about him getting run over but nice the only thing I've seen today so far all right come on king snake or something at least Nothing. Oh, ribbon snake. That's pretty cool. All right, I brought this guy over to the water and rinsed him off. This is a really nice looking, healthy adult Eastern ribbon snake. Uh, as common as these guys can be in some places. This is an area where I'm always excited to see them. Uh, here around this area of the Georgia Piedmont, they're really uncommon. Uh, this spot is one of the few places I see them with any regularity, but uh, I think this is like the third I've ever seen here. So they're around, but they're not, you know, they're not common. I probably see even more king snakes than I see ribbon snakes at this spot. So pretty cool. He's actually a pretty good looking, healthy adult too. I've seen a couple of gnarly looking ones here this early in the year, but Anyways, first uh, snake of the day. Hopefully it's not the last, but I've flipped most of my stuff at this point and haven't seen anything else, so it very possibly could be the last unless stuff's crossing the road tonight. But anyways, pretty cool. We're going to take a couple of quick camera photos of this guy and put him back. Snakes are definitely out here, at least. Nice erythrogaster. I actually noticed his coil right as I was flipping it. He was kind of, had a little bit of himself hanging out, but really cool. This is a species I was expect, kind of expecting to see today. They're generally pretty common at this flip spot. This guy is deep in shed, or actually, I might just have a bad eye on that side, but either way. Nice big uh, plain-bellied water snake under 10. Hey, what's up? That eye definitely looks a lot cloudier than the other one. He's been relatively chill, though. Normally, these things give me a good bite every time I catch them. All right, king snake food. We'll put you back. There's your 10. Don't go into the water. I don't want you to get eaten by a fish. Just go under your 10. Whoa, okay, we're going to the water. 
All right, two snakes so far. Not bad for here. Got two more pieces to flip, so. No bunny under that one. That's probably the most sun exposed one. Last piece. Come on, King Snake. Another Erythrogaster. That one went straight in the water. That's a good sign the snakes are up here. At least. Two Erythrogaster and a ribbon today. Well, it could have been worse for how hot it is. Uh, at least we got a couple snakes. Anyways, I'm gonna go drive around for a couple more hours and see if anything's crossing the road. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. It's nice and cloudy. It's no longer blistering hot. And uh, we're out here hiking around today, hoping to see some kind of snakes. This is an area I've only been to once. So uh, a lot of potential for interesting things to be found here. And basically all of it would be new for me, so. Anyways, we're going to do a lot of rock flipping today, and uh, if stuff's going to be out basking, that'd be cool too, but it's going to be mostly cool and overcast like this, so mostly rock flipping, I think, but I'll check in with you guys if we see anything. All right, guys, first flip of the day. Nice little ring neck here, mostly in C2. He twitched a little bit when I first flipped him, but he was under here with a couple of scorpions, but I'm expecting we'll probably see a couple of these today, so we're just going to pull him out, get a couple quick shots, and let him go. This guy's actually got a kind of interesting look to him. His belly is a little bit lighter in color than we normally see. It's not very vibrant, but either way, first snake of the day, nice little ring neck. The high today is only around 70 degrees, so it's gonna be nice and cool like this for the rest of the day. So hopefully we'll see plenty more snakes. Oh my God, that is in C2. I gotta grab him before he goes down a hole. Holy crap, this is my first Scarlet King from this county. <laughs> that is so sick. Just chilling with that scorpion too. Oh my God. Well, that is exactly what I was hoping to see today. And it came uh, shockingly easily considering the uh, amount of effort I put in the first time I came here and I only saw a couple of snakes, ring neck and scarlet king basically right off the bat here today. That is unbelievable. Well, that is just ridiculous. The number one thing I was hoping to see today. Didn't want to jinx it, so I didn't really say much about it, but uh, this is an area I've been looking for these guys for a while now. Um, this is the, only the second time I've been to this particular spot, but I've been looking for them in this county for uh, a couple years at this point. And uh, that's my first one. And the first Scarlet King I've ever flipped under a rock. Insane. He's got a kind of cool, weird looking belly too. A little bit of milk snake influence almost that's crazy all right guys well it's only downhill from here this is the number one thing i was kind of realistically hoping to see today and it's not even i mean i wasn't even sure if these snakes were here or not i just kind of assumed that they would be and had heard rumors that they were in this area so super awesome way to start the day uh and like i said i don't know if we could even find anything cooler than this but we can hope for another one we still got a lot of habitat to work through here, and uh, he's going under moss. But anyways, Montane Scarlet King here in the Blue Ridge foothills in North Georgia. So cool. Absolutely one of the highlights of the year so far for me. We're going to put him back under his rock and keep flipping. All right, there you go. That is so strange to release one of these under a rock instead of in tree she's so thick from that meal she had she can't even get under a rock <laughs> go on there we go all right guys under that little tiny rock right there was our next snake a nice healthy looking little thick worm snake um potentially even a gravid female already she's real thick but Kind of something to ex you would expect to see while flipping rocks in this habitat, so not too surprising at all. But snakes are definitely out today. This is awesome. Three snakes, and we're still basically working our way through the first little rock pile we stopped at, so really cool. Anyways, this is a probably one of the cleaner worm snakes we've seen this year. A lot of times early season, they're crusty and in shed, but this one is just immaculate. Really perfect specimen of the eastern worm snake. We're going to put it back under a rock and keep moving that little flat head for wedging into cracks in the soil. 
This diversity though, fossorial species number three, four if you count the Scarlet King, a little smooth earth in C2 under this rock. Tiny little rock for a tiny snake. But I cannot believe how well this is going so far. I mean, I have like five or six more spots we haven't even hit, but maybe this one's just the perfect one today. So either way, four species of snake so far. Cannot complain about that. Little, might be the first one of these I've seen in this county. I think it is. It's pretty cool. Anyways, we'll put her back. Literally two rocks over. And just got a baby earth snake. Little floppy boy and a three line salamander. So this little guy is probably a yearling smooth earth. These guys stay pretty tiny as full grown adults usually less than a foot, but this is what they look like when they're babies. Since we're finding so many things, I'm gonna try to get a flip clip of something. There's a slimy, another big slimy. That is definitely the thickest one yet. Nice bold sides too, good looking mander. All right, Jess just flipped her lifer, Southeastern crown snake. This is, okay, chill out, bro. Chill out, chill out. This is like the one snake I was actually kind of expecting to see here, seeing as we saw a couple of them the first time I came to this spot. But anyway, it's pretty common in a lot of areas, but North Georgia, they're kind of sporadic. You only get them in this kind of dry, rocky habitat, usually on mountains. So really interesting find, but I've seen so many of them at this point that they kind of, uh, they don't get old, but they just are less and less surprising now because I'm so used to seeing them in places like this looking for Scarlet Kings. So, really cool. I wager we'll probably see more of these too. So, we'll put them back. Nice little southeastern crown snake. Tantilla coronata. Here's another one. A little uh, ground skink right there. First one I've recorded. Chilling with a scorpion. Oh, bird snake, very nice. Three of these in this one little area. I got the flip on that one too, cool. Yet another earth snake, little baby one again. A couple inches long. Apparently these guys are the most common snake on this slope. All right, this is getting ridiculous. Yet another earth snake. <laughs> this is some of the best snake density I've seen in the state of Georgia in a long time. I mean, we've probably moved a quarter of a mile since we found the first snake at most and have just been finding snake after snake. That is awesome. All right, guys, the next snake of the day was under that rock that tried to fall down the mountain and kill me, but holy crap, that is a baby Eastern King snake. Unbelievable. Prior to today, the only time I'd ever been to this spot, I found one Eastern King snake and a couple of crown snakes. Today, we've gotten a Scarlet King and an Eastern King, and it's been like two hours. What on earth? That is so cool. Unfortunately, he is very tiny and very deep in shed, but either way, really, really awesome. We're gonna get some photos of this guy. I've only seen a couple of Eastern Kings in this county. I think this is like the third one I've seen here. So they've all been babies though. I don't think I found an adult here yet. Hopefully that'll change today. But yeah, beautiful little in-shed boy, unfortunately. This thing would probably be a really good looking snake out of shed. Um, you're gonna be hearing that a lot this month. March is the month of finding really cool snakes while they're in shed, unfortunately. But at least the Scarlet King wasn't. And uh, we're gonna let this guy go and hopefully we'll be able to turn up another one. I mean, this area seems like really good king snake habitat to me. So we might be able to see another one throughout the course of the day, we'll see. But either way, really nice little baby Eastern King snake as our next snake of the day. All right, let's return this little man to his rock and see what else we can turn up. All right guys, here's crown snake number two for the day. Little guy this time, who will not stop wiggling around in my hand. But like I said, this is one of the things I was actually expecting to see today, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see more. Put it back under his rock. Here's yet another baby one. This guy's in C2 still. Little crown snake under a rock. 
trying to find a hole to get down. Anyways, let's keep moving. Alright guys, next snake of the day is this little racer in C2. Kind of unexpected to see this guy under this rock. Um, there's not much space underneath it, but nice little southern black racer. The snake numbers today have just been unbelievable. I cannot believe how well today has gone. That is awesome. This little guy is a bit muddy, but really cool. I was kind of wondering where the racers were at. I was expecting to at least see one out basking, but under a rock works too. Pretty cool. This guy's still got a little bit of his juvenile pattern, and as he matures, that'll eventually turn completely black. But we'll put him back and keep flipping. I really want to see another adult king, uh, an adult eastern king at least, or a scarlet king, another one. Could be mole kings here too. That'd be a real surprise to see under a rock. That'd be awesome. All right, guys, here's our next snake of the day. Really cool in C2. There's a queen snake sitting on the bottom of the creek right there. A really cool way to find one. Just spotted this guy. That's really cool. I'm going to try to take it in C2 with my camera. I got him. Very nice. Whoa. That water's cold, dude. Look at that belly. That's awesome. Nice queen snake. Well, that's pretty cool. Nice addition to the diversity for the day. Look at that stub tail. Nice little queen snake. This is a perfect habitat for him right here in this creek edge, so not too surprising to see, but I don't think I've found him in this county before, so it's a nice addition to the day for sure. Really healthy, aside from the stub tail, adult queen snake. I'm gonna get a couple of quick camera photos and we're gonna keep moving. Awesome. All right, next snake of the day. Nice little worm snake right here chilling out with some ants. Oh, there's a hole. Is he gonna go down it? These aren't fire ants, these are native ants. So they probably aren't gonna mess with them, hopefully. But second worm snake of the day. All right, next snake of the day was under that rock. It is yet another little worm snake. This one is definitely not as nice as the others. He's got a little bit of uh, water blistering going on. A little bit on the thin side. Interesting white spot on this head. It doesn't, I can't tell if that's from blister or not, but either way, another worm snake for the total. All right, guys, while well, I am headed home, it has been an incredible day. It looks like there's gonna be some rain coming in. Uh, I might get out and shine a little bit tonight and maybe wrap up the video with that, but I think I'm gonna end it here. Uh, it just depends on how good the weather is. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Today was amazing. I cannot believe we got that Scarlet King today. That's an area I've been wanting to get one forever. Uh, in an area that uh, I'd heard rumors of them being in, but had never seen evidence of those rumors being true. But either way, really great day in the field. Scarlet King, Eastern King, tons of other common snakes. Um, and just all around beautiful weather. Nice and overcast. Uh, pleasant day to be out in the woods, so... Anyways, I'm probably going to wrap this video up here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.